This video gives a short introduction to the FAROS Lightning Playback Controller and gives a short guide into its programming and execution. So, how do you program the controller? Before the LPC is even touched, you need to download a piece of software called FAROS Designer. It's free, so why not give it a go after this video? Links and instructions can be found in the video description. When you have downloaded, installed and opened FAROS Designer, you will be presented with the setup screen. This is where you insert and arrange the fixes you'll be using in your project. In my project, I'll be using six generics, two Rayobay Colorwash 575 ATs, and be showing you how to create LED matrices, a procedure that is much simpler than you may first think. You select your fixtures from the menu on the right hand side of the setup screen. You can see here, all you do is simply drag and drop a fixture onto your project plan. To duplicate a fixture, simply right click a fixture, click duplicate, and select the number of rows, columns, and the spacing. I repeat this process for two Robay Colorspot 575 ATs and an 8x8 RGB LED display. To make the LED grid a pixel matrix, simply select all the LEDs and click Create Pixel Matrix from Selection. Next, the fixtures must be patched. To create the patch, click the Patch tab on the left hand side of the screen. All you have to do is simply drag and drop the fixtures onto the patch screen. To speed the process up, you can select entire folders of fixtures. The Mover tab is where you create presets for any moving lights within a project. To create a new preset, click New Preset and name it something sensible. Once a new preset is created, select the luminaires you wish the preset to apply to and adjust any attributes you wish. In my case, I'm going to adjust the colour and position attributes. To add media to your project, click the Media tab. To add new media, click Create New and select the media you wish to import. Once you have set up Mover Presets and Media, you can move on to Programming. This is where you set up timelines, which you will later upload to the FAROS LPC. Firstly, give your timeline a sensible name. I'm going to call mine Background. On the Program screen, you'll see you can add effects to all your luminaires, pixel maps, and you'll also see two lines for movers. This is where you place any mover effects you previously created in the Mover screen. To add a mover preset to the timeline, simply select the Mover tab at the bottom right of the screen and drag the presets you require onto the timeline. You must also ensure from the Group tab that Intensity is enabled for the movers. Do this by selecting Intensity and dragging it to the All Color Wash 575AT folder. I will also add some media to the pixel matrix. To do this, the Media tab is selected and media dragged onto the pixel matrix. To get this timeline to loop, the loop button is simply pressed. I'll also create a second timeline called Spot. This will bring up the intensity on all the generics one by one. To do this, simply select the Group tab and drag the intensity attributes up to the first generic. Then, I repeat the process for the others, but leaving an offset of two seconds. You can select Length, Start, End Times and a variety of different attributes. I'm going to make sure that all generics end after 12 seconds. In the Trigger tab, you define when timelines occur and under what conditions. I'm simply going to have my background timeline run as standard, but when a digital input is detected, in my case a pressure sensor, the Spot timeline activates. To set up the timeline that occurs on the startup, select the startup trigger from the left hand side. Drag this trigger onto the main trigger screen. To select what should happen when this trigger occurs, go to the Action section, and in my case, this is Start Timeline. To set up a digital trigger, repeat the process, this time using digital input as the trigger. There are many options, but the main one to check is whether you wish the timeline to trigger on a high input or a low input. As my input is a pressure sensor, I want the timeline to trigger on a high input. Once again, I want the action to be start timeline. On this occasion, however, I want to start the spot timeline. I also want to release the background timeline, so add an action and select these options. In order for FAROS to start the background timeline once the spot timeline has finished, you simply set a trigger of timeline end and set the action for backgrounds to begin. It really is that simple. Once your project is complete, you can then upload it to the LPC. To do this, click the Network tab. Then, 
connect your device via either a USB or Ethernet cable. Once your device is connected, it should appear within the network tab. Before you can upload, you need to link the project devices to your physical device. To do this, click on controller 1 and then controller properties. Select the fast device you have and then the serial number of your device. Press upload and your project is uploaded.